quite a warm day to finish out our weekend. Today we saw sunshine giving way to some clouds in the afternoon. The clouds are going to take over as we head into the new week. It's going to stay rather warm and humid for the next couple of days. You can see there's not really much cool air around. Some seasonable temperatures as you go into the Midwest. Temperatures today in the 70s, but there is a system out in the Midwestern part of the country that is eventually going to bring more moisture our way. So as we take a peek at the week ahead, higher humidity, it's going to be a bit muggy the next several days and an unsettled weather pattern going through the week. There are going to be some scattered showers, maybe a couple of rumbles of thunder as well, but no day is expected to be a washout here as we go through the week. And then by the time we get to the weekend, I think somewhat drier air is going to try to punch into the area and give us a chance for a little bit more sunshine and seasonable temperatures as well. Here's the system in the nation's midsection. Not really any cool air behind this front. It's a nearly stationary front, very humid ahead of the front, though, with southwesterly winds blowing into our neighborhood. And there are some scattered showers along the I-81 corridor tonight. So west of I-95 might catch a sprinkle or very light shower. Most of this is going to be going up into northern Virginia tonight, but gradually some of that moisture will get closer and closer to our area tomorrow. 68 degrees. The dew point's at 64, so it's pretty Pretty muggy out there. As I mentioned, going to be a humid night. Our temperatures only in the 60s for lows. Normally we're in the low and mid 50s this time of the year. And highs tomorrow, not quite as warm as it was today, but lower 80s for the high. And then the trend is down a little bit because rain chances go up. We'll have a lot of cloud cover through the week, so we'll be closer to normal, which is about 75 as we go through the second half of the week. And note the rain chances, nearly a 50-50 shot at least of a shower popping up each day. But again, no day is going to be a washout. I think the best rain chances region wide are going to come on Wednesday, and these rain chances will drop going into next weekend when I do think, again, we have a better shot at seeing more sunshine. So overnight tonight, maybe a shower north and west. Otherwise, a lot of cloud cover, kind of humid during the day tomorrow. A few dots of green, but notice not a lot of coverage here. So you might catch a quick shower, and that's about it. Keep the uh, umbrella handy over the next couple days just in case. Going into Tuesday, not much of a change, although a little bit more activity, I think, later in the afternoon into the evening and better rain chances into Wednesday as well. Hurricane Sam out here in the Atlantic, headed into the North Atlantic. It's going to become a powerful extra tropical low pressure system or a post tropical storm over the next couple of days. Meanwhile, Victor's hanging in there tonight, probably going to dissipate during the day tomorrow. And one er other area of concern here in the Southeast Bahamas that might be tracking towards the southeastern U.S. A slight chance for some tropical development over the next several days. We'll keep you posted. Overnight, lots of clouds and humid in the 60s. Tomorrow, we'll start out rather cloudy. In the afternoon, we may see a shower or two developing. 78 degrees at lunchtime. High temperatures tomorrow in the low 80s. And notice our rain chance. It's kind of 50-50 through the week. Best shot probably on Wednesday. I don't think any day will be a washout, but keep the umbrella handy. Highs in the 70s and lows mostly in the 